something called the principle of obliquity. Those that know me have heard me speak about it more than once. Uh, it is that businesses that set out to be the most profitable rarely are the most profitable businesses. You know, businesses that actually try to solve a real problem uh, and do so well uh, actually turn out to be uh, profitable, viable, large businesses. I had the opportunity over the weekend uh, to spend some time with one of the board members of another organization that I'm associated with called IFMA Trust. Uh, this is separate from my role in ICSA Foundation. Uh, we went and spent a day at Starbucks to try and look at their back-end processes and to see what it is that makes the company uh, 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 the, the company that it is today. And you know, one of the interesting uh, comments that a uh, manager made to me when I was asking him about how do you recruit people, how do you look uh, for the ideal employee, he said the employee that starts a conversation by saying that I always meet my numbers, I always deliver profitability, is the wrong employee for Starbucks. Because uh, indeed, if that's what your goal is and that's what comes up at the top of mind, then in fact, sooner or later you're not going to meet your numbers. Because you're going to destroy culture, you're going to destroy uh, uh, the way the businesses are built on the ground, uh, and you're not going to be able to deliver long-term value and long-term satisfaction uh, to, to your uh, companies, or to, to your clients, and then eventually to your shareholders.
energetic, enthusiastic person. They will come up with many more speakers that will come. They will share with you their experiences, their journeys. I certainly found them extremely valuable. You know, to uh, watch and hear people uh, from around the country, around the world perhaps, uh, uh, share what is their journey. Why did they do what they uh, did? Uh, uh, and, and you know, uh, what has been their experience of starting, running businesses? Uh, and, and what is the impact that they've actually had? Uh, what we have planned for our inaugural year is a quarterly set of networking events that where we'll bring in experts to speak on and discuss uh, different kind of issue areas, very broad issue areas across the social venture space. Um, so the first one is planned for June, and that will be on job opportunities and social enterprise, since that's something that. Um, a lot of us young professionals are particularly interested in. The second one will be in September and it will be a uh, forum on scale. So this is a, a large issue that most um, kind of social enterprises and organizations work in, working in this sector focus on is how do we scale up? How do we go from being a very small organization to being something that really generates a significant amount of impact? Uh, and the third one will be a little bit more specific. It will be about um, selling to the base of the pyramid. So understanding your customer, what sort of market research techniques are starting to come out in the space of social ventures, um, and how you know we can, what the different issues are in viewing the base of the pyramid as a consumer.